prepare for the first video. Let's start with something I could not find anything about. And that is modifying ATI stock on an SKS to accept TAPCO ductile mags. <clears throat> Biggest problem with these, that right up here in the mag well, there's not enough room to get the ductile on this magazine to fit. We've got to <clears throat> remove some material in here. What I'm going to do is show you this is empty in the chamber here. See that? We're ready to go. As you can see, I already put this on test fit. It actually did drop in right away, which is a surprise because everything I had read about them said that uh, you need to remove some material around the trigger and other areas to get a fit, but it really did just drop in. Very surprised. This is the this is the strike force. It's folding. Accessory rails, pretty nice to change the gas tube on this one from my old stock. But the parts are 992 compliant. And one so first, one first. Get the screwdriver, remove this grip. Enough. Now, Got to make sure that the safety of the trigger block, whatever you want to call it, it's not really a safety, is engaged. We will have a problem with this. You see right here, it's detent for the trigger group. Pop that open. Push on it with a screwdriver. It'll pop right out. that. Next, stock magazine out, this list right out, this tab in front. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing you already know this. Spring it here, Put that out so we don't lose it. Receiver cover. This out, the whole receiver barrel will come out. Set that stuff aside. In fact, I'm going to move all of this. So now we come to the heart of the problem this section right in here. You can see a bunch of material right in here. Won't allow this magazine to fit in that part right there. So we're going to grind that out. First thing I had to do is go over to Home Depot and get a uh, grinding bit here because I didn't have one. Know if this is exactly the perfect piece for it or not. Hoping that it works out good. The square edge. The, uh, the rounded tips look like it would probably cause more problems and be a nightmare to use. So, well, with the square tip, the Dremel here, tip in. Um, and we should be good to go. Um, I'm going to start just on the inside here, try and see if I can get this without removing a lot of material on the outside. Hopefully that'll be enough to get it in there without too much problem. So, here we go.
Well, it looks like we've got enough here. Think, uh, we'll put the receiver back in, test it, see if it uh, goes on. And as you can see, that is plenty. I'm going to get the sanding drum in here and kind of make it look a little bit nicer. Get just a little bit more off the edge to make it go in and out nice and easy. As you can see, it <clears throat> But I'm actually going to use an exacto knife here to just cut off the flashing a little bit. See we're back in here. You do have to pull out on this just a little bit in here from the block that's there. Kind of slide it in. Make sure to line this up in front here. Down in. Get our okay. Trigger group. Notch. I can groove here, obviously. Set this somewhere else. You don't need it. Make sure the safety is on. Now, it's not just to be safe, but you'll find that the trigger does not go in without that being on. Very curious thing. Down on it until it clicks. Detent is in there properly. Pistol grip back on. Simple screw. Okay, now as you can see these magazines, the bolt needs to be open. Detent right down in here, the block. That folds it open. So pull the receiver open, hold it, pull the bolt open, push down on a little tad, locks it open. Now, you see, it's on there beautifully. This. Looks like it's going to work great. And it was a simple modification to do. Doesn't look too bad in there. Plenty of room. Take that off. Put it back on. Take it off. Put it back on. Works great. Hope that's useful to somebody. Um, it's a, I was trying to find a video on someone else doing this. I could not find it, but I found a lot of complaints on the internet. Of Tapco mags not fitting in the ATI stocks. So hopefully this will help show you what you need to do. Thanks for watching.